Welcome to semi-final number one of the WCC tournament in Las Vegas. I'm Lindsay Joy, joined by Phil Benavides. Yeah, today, number eight, Santa Clara, takes on number one, Gonzaga University, and what is either going to be a blowout or the greatest Cinderella story in the history of the WCC. I spoke personally with the Santa Clara coach, and they told me, we have no fear, we are confident and ready to take on Gonzaga. And of course, today, they are being led by Lena Gibson, who scored 21 points in the first game and 23 points in the second game against Portland, and she's ready to take that momentum into the next game. You know, Phil, there is no doubt that the story of this tournament so far has been Santa Clara, but that story changes today. Gonzaga dominated both matchups this season. They won both times by more than 30. Now, the secret to Gonzaga's undefeated conference record is their stellar one-two punch of Bowman and Vandersloot. Courtney Vandersloot leads the nation in assists. Not, not her school, not her conference. She leads the nation in assists. And at the receiving end of many of those passes is Heather Bowman, who just became the WCC and Gonzaga's all-time scoring leader. Bowman said before the game, we are not worried that we might be coming in cold. They've played two games. We have fresh legs and we are confident. Santa Clara head coach Jennifer Mountain, actually a Gonzaga grad and former assistant under Kelly Graves. Now, Gonzaga did come into this with fresh legs, but took a few minutes to shake off the rust. Vivian Fryson cleans up the miss there, and the Zacks dominated the offensive glass throughout the entire game. Gonzaga took a little while to warm up, and Santa Clara takes advantage by sinking a Shoji 3. Santa Clara struggled with ball control throughout the first half. 13 turnovers in 20 minutes. Although Courtney Vandersloot is known for picking some pockets. She's second in the nation in steals. And Caitlin Redmond converts the basket for Gonzaga 2. The end of the first half, Gonzaga started to pull away. The Canadian native Janelle Beckering drains a three and puts the Zags up 41 to 17. After that, they never looked back. Santa Clara's hopes for a big upset starting to fade fast. Early on in the second, Vivian Fryson showing her knack for, for picking pockets. Goes in for the layup, and Zaga starts to coast to victory. Finally in the end, Claire Rapp lives up to her name, picks up the rebound, and puts the final nail in the coffin as the Zags win 87-47. In the beginning of the first half, it appeared that the Santa Clara Broncos could hold their own. But by the end, constant turnovers proved that they could not keep it together. And you know, Phil, you said before this, if Santa Clara could pull off this upset, it would be the biggest Cinderella story in WCC history. Well, the Slipper didn't win. Gonzaga played this game like a well-oiled machine. And what a well-oiled machine they were, Lindsay. They scored all the way across the board and proved why they are the number 17 team in the nation. We know Gonzaga's in the championship. They wait to see if they will take it.